welcome to Nojo Tech Challenge. I'm sure this is one of the videos that you have been waiting for because today we are going to talk about how you can use a contactor to build automatic changeover switch. And this video is going to be in two parts. It's going to be, we are, we, are, we are having this one as a part one. It will be more of theory. Showing you how the system works. Showing you the logic and the secret behind it. I'm not going to teach you only connect this one to this place, connect this one to this place alone. I will mention, I will show you the trick behind it. And apart from that, there will be the second video part. So that we show you the real life practical where this what i want to teach you here has been practiced put to use and you will see everything so get ready for this and um, please please and um, please if you have not yet subscribed to this channel uh, uh, come on do well to subscribe you can smash that your subscribe button and support us today because i noticed that we have a lot of new viewers that are not yet subscribers and um, please and um, please even they are up to 90 90 percent sometimes most of our video they will just view watch learn and they won't subscribe if you are one of them please do well and subscribe to this channel so let's get to it what you are having here is single phase meter it will serve as our utility supply and this is the generator and what we have here is distribution board that we are going to use. And this is the diagram of our contactor. If you watch our previous video about our contactor, I'm sure you are not going to have problem with this uh, contactor that I that I structure here. Because you can't find this anyway. I'm the one that just arranged it. And it's because of my knowledge on how contactor works that's what make me design this and you will know you will, if, if you if you check it practically you know that exactly this is how a contactor is being built so let's get into the connections first we are going to connect neutral and we are going to connect it to the t1 and t2 t1 and t2 we are going to connect neutral to t2 and the life to t1 and here we have two <coughs> terminals here what we are having up here it's been called major terminals and this other one is auxiliary terminal and in every contactors you always have normally closed normally open up here we have normally closed i mean normally open when the contactor is not being energized and here we have normally close when the contactor is not being energized and if you watch my video on this contactor you know that at this auxiliary auxiliary terminals we have one normally close one normally open but based on what we want to design about this design we are going to need two normally close and sometimes contactor may not come with two normally close there is something called extra auxiliary terminal that you can get and apply to your contactor if you only have one normally close so that it will become two normally close but if you see a contactor that come with two normally close it will be a perfect one to use so but if you only have one don't be scared you can get another external uh, auxiliary terminal so let's start the connection we connect neutral to t2 and connect life to t1 so the next thing that we're going to do is we want to use this utility power supply to power this contactor and you know that this b terminal and a terminal is the terminal that power the coil of this contactor so let's do that we are going to connect neutral and live for the terminal of this coil now after that the next thing that we are going to do is we want to connect our generator 
please watch it closely we are we are connecting this uh, generator to the auxiliary terminal to the auxiliary terminal and these two auxiliary terminal is normally closed both of them they are normally closed that means that the, when this contactor is not yet being energized these two terminal will be closed so when the conductor is energized it will be open so that's where we are going to connect it we are doing that now now we have powered the auxiliary terminal and about the numbers tab contactor has a lot of number it may come with different number so these 41 41 and 42 they are normally close to each other and these 21 and 22 they are normally close to each other so what we did here is we we pick one normally close the first normally close we connect neutral to it we pick the no second normally close we connect another at uh, the life of the generator to it don't 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 make a mistake of connecting them together you know they are normally close if you put this life of the generator and go and connect it to the second phase of the first normally close so you, you know here we have 41 if you connect it to 42 you have bridged your generator together let's connect the the next thing so what we are going to do now is we are going to connect the other side of this normally close that we have been connected to this l1 and l2 so we'll connect the neutral and we're also going to do the same thing for life so after that we are now going to connect the output of this to the distribution board now we have done that we are through that connect so now focus on your this red dot on your screen because i want to explain the trick behind this connection for you so that anytime you feel like doing something like this you can do you guys you can use you can use any side of the terminals to do your own and you can be creative with it so follow me closely so look at this t1 and t2 you see that it did not connect to l1 l2 but you know that they are normally open when this contactor is not being energized i've mentioned that before and look at this place they are normally close so what we did is that we connect one side of our supply to normally open you see that this one is open what can make this one close is when this contactor is being energized and we connect the other one the generator side to normally close so this one is close already so if the generator is on it will power this distribution board immediately and what we make this one to normally open is that this when this 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 uh contactor being energized and what we energize this contactor is the utility so if utility did not come this contactor will not energize talk less of this one will be open i hope that one is clear now look at it very well you can see that this like from your generator you can say neutral close together and then automatically is powered this distribution board like now as we have now if you own the generator this connection is closed already it's closed already life and neutral is closed already to the l1 and l2 that serve the distribution board okay let us see how it's going to happen when we when we have utility supply you see that automatically this terminal this this, this uh, contactor is energized and when it energized the first thing this uh, contactor did is he opened this normally close he switched it to normally open and when this thing switched to normally open 
this other place switch to normally close. And you can now see that the utility now supply the division board and this place is being open. So with these techniques, there is no way your utility and your generator will jam together. There is no way. As far as you connect one to normally open and you connect the other one to normally close, they won't join together. It's like day and night. They will never meet. They will never meet because one is control this terminal of the contactor and the one another one did not control it so i'm sure this video is very clear very detailed please guys subscribe to this channel